From here on, nothing goes down unless I'm involved. No blackjack, no dope deals, no nothing. A nickel bag gets sold in the park. I want in. On him. He has to be dominant in the inside. And then Sean Wade, you know, he's played in the past in that nickel spot, at that slot corner. Now he's playing out to the field. He'll have to be on, more, on point tonight as well. There he is. And on the run, ETN makes the catch, and it's quick first down. We'll see if the Tigers ratchet the Defense. tempo. Big shoes to fill in the secondary. On second and goal. Lawrence keeps it, tries to get the edge. Chased by Browning. Dive. Touchdown, Tigers. On the opening possession, they march in 82 yards in eight plays to draw first blood. The zone read with Trevor Lawrence. You see this a lot from this offense. You got to respect ETN in the middle. And then it's a foot race. Browning trying to get out there. Cooper trying to get out there. Amari Rogers with an outstanding block on Wade to allow it to free it up to the corner for Lawrence to be able to get in for that touchdown. Through for the call Eight. and did exactly what they needed to do. If you're a fan of speed chess. This is your kind of game tonight. So the Tigers back to work. Lawrence keeps it, flips it in the flat to Braden Galloway, and the tight end is knocked down on the far side, but it's a first down, not near the 40. And they it's him using from. Amari Rodgers as a decoy, baiting the defense, and then getting the ball back to the outside. Play action throw again, rifle far side. Frank Ladson, who's just returning to health now, makes the catch, and they are in rhythm again, this Tiger offense, another first film Film study shows that Sean Wade likes to bail. He doesn't press off him, but when he does, typically he's bailing and getting, giving you soft coverage. And I think Clemson has seen a lot of that on film in the six games that Ohio State has played, and they feel that they can get underneath a Sean Wade anytime they need to. Check it, they spotted about a half yard short, so on second down, it's Dixon, breaking a tackle, lowering the shoulder and banging for a first and goal down inside the five. The junior from Butler, Georgia. Good compliment to ETN. Now for Ohio State's defense to get off the field. Final minute of a frenzy back and forth first quarter here in the Superdome. Buckeyes bring some pressure. Lawrence steps up and delivers a sideline strike caught but short of the first down is Powell in front of Wade. So a fourth and two for Sweeney to think about in his own Again, three. Agree. That time Sean Wade, remember I talked about how he bails and he doesn't necessarily press and stay on you. That time a better job of recognizing the down and distance. Third down and about eight. Look at Sean Wade at the top. Instead of losing ground and making it easy for Powell, he pushes him and works and tries to keep him short of that first down marker. Powell needs to get beyond that line and instead Sean Wade wins that battle. Turn to answer, playing from behind for the first time tonight. They fake the pitch to Dixon and pitch it long downfield and not turning around and reacting was E.J. Williams who was well covered by Sean Wade. And they're challenging Sean Wade downfield. E.J. Williams, a true freshman, 6'3", 190, has is, is really emerged with some of the injuries to Frank Ladson, Joe Ngata. They haven't had the, a chance to get some of their better receivers and E.J. Williams is talented that time. Very good coverage by Sean Wade. Camping, of course. Tigers need four on third down. ETN, the receiver there, but that was an inaccurate throw. It was behind him. Wade was right in his face anyway. And the Buckeyes defense forces another punt. Now remember, they've gone to that play in the past against man-to-man. -man. Ohio State's not in man-to-man. -man. This play is designed for man-to-man. -man. A wheel out of the backfield to ETN, but the corner's sitting out there waiting for it. So typically, and you can see ETN looking to the inside to 21 Williamson because he thought he could beat him, but they did not expect to see Sean Wade also sitting out there. So good mix up by Gary Coon. Oh, but it's different. Affects the continuity of what this offense has been about all year. Big time. They're off the script now. They have to react on the fly. Powell makes a catch in traffic, spins, doesn't quite get first down yardage. Fought back near the marker, but it's fourth down. Werner and Wade combined on the stop. Quarter Buckeyes again marched it 63 yards, but the interception sets up Clemson. And now beginning of the long climb for Lawrence and company, their first possession. It's a long throw and the catch by E.J. Williams on the far side. Tom, good Samaritan in the offseason. Amazing. He's been playing football this season. Play action. Lawrence launches and has Powell wide open. Just shoves Wade out of the way and is going to be spotted out down near the 10. And Cornell Powell's a guy that can make plays. See Sean Wade losing ground, losing ground, and that's what they want to try to attack. Even though Sean Wade is talented, they feel good about Wade 
being soft in coverage that Powell can beat him. And there's the accuracy and how important that is from Trevor Lawrence. That time. Sometimes you will by Banks getting that right hand around. Nice play of the drive. Lawrence flips it in the flat. Powell stretches for the pylon. Touchdown! And the Tigers begin to chip away. Powell beating Sean Wade a couple times on that drive. First TD pass for Trevor. That's a nine-play, 80-yard touchdown drive for Clemson and a good answer to be able to come up with the interception and then drive, put a drive together like that. Again, there's that soft coverage. We saw that really, Chris, on this entire drive. When they threw the ball, it was Ohio State soft in coverage, Clemson taking those underneath throws and then relying on their athletes to make a play after the catch. And this time, Powell gets to the corner of the end zone before Proctor pushes him out. Balave six Out. times, 132 yards. These two guys wanted this matchup, and so far they've delivered. Lawrence looking to throw quickly on first down. Now will scramble, has room. Pump fakes was very near the line of scrimmage. In fact, he may have been across when the ball was thrown. For Travis Etienne hasn't done a lot running or receiving and didn't pick up that blitz. Lawrence again under pressure, tried to get the ball on the edge to Powell. Flag comes in, it was Wade in coverage. And it'll be pass interference on Wade. Don't know if he needed to because that was going to be tough for Powell pass to make the catch. Defense, number 24, 15 yard penalty and an automatic first down. And the throw was outside. Yeah, let, 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 let's watch this because this is becoming a, a, a good match. He's fine there, he's fine there. And then he kind of pushes him into the sideline. I think that's the ball, but the ball was a catchable. Ball's over his head. Yeah, it wasn't that far. He actually yeah, got, he got a hand no, on it. Yeah, he got, it, got a hand the on it. The pass rusher, it's a community effort by Ohio State. And they influenced Lawrence a lot tonight, even though that was their first official sack. Now Trevor tries to find Powell against Wade again. No chance that time. Third and 16 coming up. Offense. That play. Haven't got ETN going. Amari Rodgers has been bottled up by this Buckeye defense. And Lawrence under pressure again, delivers a strike. Powell breaks free. Powell knifing down and scoring. So they convert third and 16 into a touchdown to keep some hope alive here. 26 he, yard strike. He had to get rid of that ball before Tyreek Smith hit him. And I'll tell you, it was a great route by Cornell Powell. Off to your right, watch him work against Sean Wade. He turns him right there. And then he throws the ball before his head's even turned to a spot, hoping he would eventually turn off of his route. Look at this move right there. Does a nice job. He turns him twice, gets him in soft coverage, and then he's able to make a play after the catch for the touchdown. Face no other opponent where they've lost as many as four times without a single win head-to-head. -head. Trying to erase that tonight. It's Dixon in the backfield. Throw on the edge and the catch made by Williams, who's forced out of bounds near the marker at the 37. Played just six you know, games. You, you he thought that was not worthy really of consideration. Yeah, principle. Yep. But tell that to Ohio Back State. To the field because <laughs> of what happened the last time you were on the field and the way you lost the game. I, I don't think him ranking him 11 had as much to do with it as the game last year. That was the focus. That was what these players wanted a chance to get back at. When you're lifting weights in a.